Hey everyone, so over here I have a normal Debian 12 install standard, uh, nothing else has been installed on here and something I want to talk about is the Nix package manager. So at this point you would have seen with Nix OS and general Nix version package manager you can install apps via temporarily using the shells, which was in the previous video. And you can also install them as a single user uh, using the environments, which is basically like every other kind of package manager out there. Now, the nice thing about Nix, of course, is reproducible, and we're still going to do more videos on that. But what if you want the power of Nix? package manager, but you don't want to use Nix OS. And do sudo apt update, sudo apt install curls. And we're going to copy this command. We're going to come and paste it into our terminal, even press enter. And then it's now going to download the Linux table. And do we want to see more GSUP? This supports this code boot. But we can see here when you have to make sure you don't have Nix uh, package manager pre installed. Uh, the hint's going to sort it in this location. It's going to create system users and system uh, groups. So basically, that the Nix daemon or service can run and make the builds. And uh, it's, it is, of course, going to configure the shells so that it can use Nix profiles. And uh, it just uses a specific service or in the background. So we're going to next it uh, to that service. So um, you don't need more than this right now. And they'll say, no, well, can it use sudo? Yes. Uh, are we willing to continue? Yes. And of course, it'll bring all of this information down. Takes a couple of minutes. Uh, you don't, of course, have to use this in Debian. You can use this on other Linux distros as long as you're satisfied to really uh, the requirements of the build system, do sudo and had a Linux disabled. And of course, it won't work in active shells until we start them. So I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to actually just log out quickly and log back in. And we're going to go to Nix search packages. And as before, let's say I want to install a different browser. So let's say I want to install, in this case, Brave. Uh, I did Brave in the previous example. I'm going to do Brave again. Uh, grab the sounds quickly. First time the sound loading the file, so it takes a bit longer. Okay, and of course, I uh, type a Brave. Here's the Brave browser working again. Pretty cool, pretty awesome, works well. That's great, I exit, type brave, it's not there. Right, that's the new part of each of Nick Shells. So remember with Nick Shell, if I do Nick Shell dash T and I choose a piece of software, so I'm going to do as uh, the seven samples before, I'm going to do HTOP, CalSeg, and uh, our cloud. And as I did before on NixOS in my Nick Shells video, it's going to do exactly the same thing over here. It's downloading these files temporarily. And now if I do a cow say it works, it works, HTOP works. And our clone will work as well. And as before, if I exit it and I do it again, won't work. Right? Now we have an advantage here. And uh, if you also create an Excel file here and you store it on the machine, uh, it will work just as well. Okay, so I'm going to do the gray wolf and keep saying now a few gray wolf. I'm not going to do Nix shell. We're going to do a mix environment. I'm going to 
copy this command. I'm going to go to the terminal. I'm going to paste the command. I'm going to press enter. And it's going to install new pair walls. And unlike if we did it under the next shell, here it's going to do permanently. Now if I go to activities, and then look here, it uh, doesn't show it. And unfortunately, that does seem to be a bit of an issue with, you know, but there is a command you can run. And I just want to grab that command quickly. So this is essentially this command, uh, in which we copy this, let's close that. Go back to the terminal. Press paste. Basically, you should create a symbolic links for the applications uh, from Linux profile to installed applications. And now you'll see LibreWolf is in the menu. Click on it. And here we go. Well, you've got our browser and application fully installed on the machine. And of course, it is for Linux OS. So that, of course, is the very quick way of how we can do it. So I'll leave this command uh, in the window below. And yes, this is the first video on how we can use uh, Linux Package Manager on a different OS for, for Linux OS, but it doesn't take away some of the power and agility from it as well. So. Uh, folks, as always, thanks for watching. Leave the comments below. Bye for now.